Only later I found that Ramana Maharshi, I, I, I started to read about. After some time, when I was meditating already, I started to read the lives of the saints and the sages, the yogis, because I was inspired, you know. And this, in this way, I found Ramana Maharshi. And, and I felt great connection with this man. And recently I had this picture as the background of my desktop <laughs> and my computer. A very beautiful man with very beautiful eyes and, and very beautiful heart. Totally enlightened being, you can see it from, from his eyes. Yes. Who am I? So, sorry Rodney, <laughs> I wanted to answer your question and I started to, you know, to speak about the things, but it's okay, yes. Still recording? Yes, still recording. Because there is not so much space in this camera and, some, and the battery also goes down and um, it is a bit difficult. I would like to get another camera, but there is no money to buy another camera. Hmm. You can donate me some money, you would help me. Okay. <laughs> um, so, who am I? The self inquiry for me is a very beautiful practice that, that I am. Um, I practiced it for years and. Mm. Yes, I can speak about this. I know about this. I have spent weeks and months and years with self-inquiry, practicing the most, as intensely as I could. So I think I can answer your questions um, concerning the self-inquiry, Rodney. Mm. You see, sometimes I feel that I'm answering the question wrong. I know that no understanding or combination of words is the correct answer, nor is the answer silence or awareness of blankness. So I figure that the answer is to get me to jump out of my mind into the present moment, or in other words, to redirect my focus from my mind to focus my surroundings. Yes. Mm. You just keep on practicing it, Rodney. You just keep on practicing it. Um, you see, sometimes I feel that I'm answering the question wrong. Now I have a question for you. Who thinks that you are answering the question wrong? Who is the one who thinks that you are answering the question wrong? Who makes you feel so? It is your mind, right? And the mind is your greatest enemy in this. When you meditate, your mind wants to take you away in any way it can. So it will always tell you that, that you are meditating wrong, that it's not a good way to meditate. It tries all the ways to get you out of meditation. And this is one of the ways, one of more desperate ways your mind tries to get you away from meditating. So know that what you do is right, what you do is good, you're practicing self-inquiry well. It's just your mind that feels endangered because your mind is, because you're transcending your mind. You're successful in your practice. And this is why your mind, it is so annoyed and it tries to protect itself so it tries to <laughs> give you all kinds of ideas. So no worries about it. In practice in any kind of meditation, self-inquiry or whatever meditation you would practice, there are moments where you're meditating very well. It just goes so nice and you feel so much peace, your meditation is so profound, you feel so good. 
meditating is so easy and so blissful and so nice <laughs> and then comes time and then that you're trying to meditate you try to meditate and you just can't you're thinking emotions come up things come up your body starts aching I mean know that there are ups and there are downs always as in your life so in your meditation so when you are up don't feel good when you are down don't feel bad just patience 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 and determination many times when you experience the down it is very hard to meditate and it is very easy to stop meditating and say no this, this way is not for me this is where you have to really have strength and determination and patience to continue because these are the hardest moments when your meditation is hard it's not easy and this is where you really go into another level indeed so so keep on asking yourself rather the battery okay stop, stop recording you ask yourself i will give you example <laughs> the way i i do it or i do it who am i and you try to feel it and then you can then you can ask yourself but who is giving me this question who is questioning who am i who who is questioning it puts you into a bit strange feeling like you know but you go and for example answer comes or a thought comes into your mind and you say who is thinking who, who is thinking this thought to whom this thought came or you can say from where this thought came and you try to feel it and then you again ask yourself, and who is meditating? Again you meditate. This is kind of Zen approach, I think. It is self-inquiry also. Mainly self-inquiry for me is who am I, who am I, who am I, who am I? But after ay ay ay, shut up. <laughs> but after a repetitive who am I it is good also to mix it with other questions like like I said who is thinking from where this thought is coming for example you are walking you are doing walking meditation you ask yourself who is walking who is walking who is meditating and who is asking these questions who is meditating this is also self inquiry for me so this is the practice and just keep on going with the trodney and the key is sincerity the key is patience the key is determination you go and go and go and don't expect that in one day you will change and you will feel something just keep on practicing and after a short time after a week or a month you will see that you have changed and you will see that you have changed very much you will see that that you cannot imagine with your thought with your mind mm, what this practice what this meditation the self-inquiry will give you you think that I meditate and I will be more peaceful, I will be like this peaceful, more peaceful, like this, like this. But when you're actually meditating and when you actually transform, you transcend. What I want to say is that now you can Im try to imagine the way you would be after meditating. 
when you are transforming yourself. But with meditation, you go beyond the mind. You it is impossible to understand, to 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 think <laughs> how this practice will change you because it is beyond words. It's difficult for me to. I don't know, I don't know if it makes sense what I'm saying. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Mm. Is it all, Rodney? Can I answer your question? I think so, no? No, you are not misunderstanding the question, who am I? You are doing very well. Just practice, practice it. And, uh, and tell me about the results. This is what I would like to hear and I would like also what I would like to challenge the ones who practice self-inquiry you could uh, do a video response to this video or to some other video and tell, tell me, tell us about your results and, and how you feel. It's nice to share. For me self-inquiry is, is a very beautiful practice and I surely recommend it. It is a very beautiful practice. So, question answered, I guess, Rodney. Thank you for the question and thank you all who watched this video. It would be. I wanted to ask you also. Maybe you could do me a favor and subscribe me to my other channel that is in Spanish. The Silencio es tu realidad. If you su subscribe, it would be more popular, and and when it is more popular, um, more people watch it. Watch it. And definitely, I do make videos because people watch it. So <laughs> that would be nice if you subscribed. And that's it for now. That's it. Keep on practicing. Because if you do, then it is the most important thing. To come back to yourself and to... And to be whole. We can give something to this world, truly give, truly love, only when we find ourselves. The, world, the more we come back to ourselves, the more we can live, and the more we can live also. You see, you see this? The horses! <laughs> so, that's it. Take care, and meditate. Who am I? Who is making this video? Who is watching into this camera right now? Who is asking this question about the camera? It just comes these supports that come they have nothing to do with me the who is me <laughs> is freedom is space is life and everything that comes up are the manifestations of life the thoughts which appear in this space in this possibility <laughs> meditate. <laughs>